New report found that during the pandemic years, the federal government spent billions of dollars on office furniture despite a majority of employees working from home. Joining us this morning to break it all down is CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. So Happy Friday, Jan. So we're talking $3.3 billion spent on luxurious office furniture while the federal workforce was teleworking between 2020 and 2022. Unbelievable. Tell us what your investigation found. So first off, Jan, we took a look at the last five years of the federal agency's purchase of furniture, and they spend about a billion dollars a year. You would think that during the pandemic, when everyone was forced, they were paid to stay home to work, that the furniture spend would drop, and it didn't. They still spent their budgets about a billion dollars a year. And here's some of the things that we found. The CDC, Centers for Disease Control, they spent a quarter million dollars purchasing solar-powered picnic tables. Each one of those costs about 10,000 a piece. We found that the State Department, for their embassy in Islamabad, Pakistan, they purchased $120,000 worth of luxurious Ethan Allen leather recliners. I don't even spend money at Ethan <laughs> Allen, it's so expensive. And that's the reason why, because it is so pricey. So where did all this money go? What other agencies top the list of furniture spending? So you have the Department of Agriculture. They had about 9% space utilization, and they spent 50, about $60 million on furniture spending. You have the Department of Transportation. They're, uh, they're only using about 9% of their office space under Secretary Pete Buttigieg, and they spent $55 million uh, on furniture. You have the State Department. Now, they're about a third back. Two-thirds of their employees aren't back at the office. They're still paid to work from home. They spent over $300 million on their furniture. So look, if they're gonna all work from home, if they're not gonna be in the office, why are we spending billions of dollars on furniture? Why, how can any of this spending be justified? Why was this allowed? Well, Janet, can't, and this is the purpose of the report. It's taxpayer abuse and Congress needs to crack down. How do you spend a billion dollars on furniture? You know, we took a look, you can buy an 85 inch Samsung television nowadays for about a thousand bucks. For a billion dollars, you can buy a million of those TVs. And like you said, it really shows the amount of money sitting around for agencies and our federal government to spend however they choose. It's this use it or lose it sort of mindset. I don't understand why that money cannot be shifted to go back to the federal government or perhaps for employees. I, I don't understand this idea that we have to spend it because we have it. Well, this show, it's a prime example, Jan, that shows the dysfunction in Congress. Our report goes through uh, a number of years. So Nancy Pelosi was Speaker of the House. Kevin McCarthy was Speaker of the House. The appropriations bill start in the House. They allocate the money. So this is a bipartisan problem, and it shows the dysfunction in Congress where these agencies, they get their budget, and then they have to spend, they feel they have to spend it down this year to get the same or more money next year. And that's why this report is so egregious. Founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky. Thanks for joining us this morning. Have a great weekend.